not believe what I tell you. After a year and a half, I had twenty thousand dollars in the bank. Hey, what is good, YouTube? I'm back, and in today's video, I go to work with my grandfather, and I try to capture some cool clips, a little bit of uh, inspirational talk, some life advice from a seventy-five-year-old man. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I uh, hope everyone going through the pandemic is doing okay. It's been tough for all of us, and sorry that it's taking some time to pop out videos. Life has been crazy, but thank God things are going well. Better days are coming. But yeah, hope you enjoy the content. Smash the like button, subscribe, support the channel, and let's keep it going, guys. Let's keep it going strong. I want to hit 100 subscribers soon. All right, enjoy the video. One, two, three, fuck it. Yesterday, I, uh, last night, I had a hard time to breathe. Yes, a lot of people now cannot breathe uh, normal because of this corona thing, you know? You know? Would you believe it? It was hard to, to breathe, you know? How about you, Sal? Nothing. How's corona affected you? He's okay. He has his cats. Yeah, I haven't caught it yet. He has a nice cats. You know, he's enjoying, you know, coming home. He has two nice friends over there, right? You have two? Just all I need now is a woman. A good woman. What, what do you have? One cat or two cats? Two cats. Two cats, yeah. Sal, what's the key to happiness? I don't know. I haven't found it yet. <laughs> what's the key to happiness? How do you be happy? How do you be happy? Yeah. There's many things. The key the happiness is that you have a life, calm life, you know, you're not, we don't have too many problems in life. The more you have problems in life, the more you, you're less happy. And let's say you have too many, you owe people a lot of money. I remember I had business years ago, a pizza store, and uh, there was a time that the, the business was not so good. And I had a lot of debts to pay. You know, people used to come. This guy wants money. I could not pay him for the cheese. This guy for the flowers, you know, the rent, you know. So, at that time was bad. I could not sleep, you know. When you don't owe anybody, and when you don't owe nobody nothing, that's the best. That's really a very, very good uh, relief, relief. Well, health is number one, you know. Head is number one. To imagine people who were born already diabetic, born, didn't start his life is diabetic. I hate to look at the, sometimes on the TV, they put you operations in hospital, and this, every second hospital, I don't want to hear, I don't want to see this. Leave me alone, this is, put some. If you could talk to your 20 year old self, what would you tell him? When I was 20? What advice would you give him? 
and say, Danny, keep going the way you're going. Just be nice, be a good person. You're always going to succeed in life when you're honest and you help other people and keep going the way you are going now. Thank God, I don't want to complain, but I had, I had a good life. I was always honest. I never cheated people. I never did, you know. So I am happy that I came to this world. That I, that, I, that I was born. I'm happy that I was born. Especially when you have grandson, when you have, when you have family, nice. Yeah, that's very, very, very important. You know, I know for certain people it's very, it's, it's hard, you know, life. I have, they have no family, they have, it's, it's tough life, you know, life is tough. I'm so happy, thank God. I remember I came to this country, I had nine dollars in my pocket. My father-in-law was a very, very nice man. My father-in-law brought me to this country. He told me, come to America, Danny. What do you do in Israel? Where do I come? I said, how am I going to come? I don't have money for even for tickets. I said, don't worry, I'll, I'll buy you a ticket for the plane. Come, don't worry. Come. He, he was a butcher. You know, he has a store, a butcher store. Every week, every week, you know, if it's snow, if it's rain, if it, Every week, Thursday, he bring me two packages of meat like this, steaks, and hamburger. And I said, no, oh, what do you do? I said, no, take. And I was living only me, me and my mother. I, I didn't have children. Yet, you know. So you came here with $9? Nine dollars. Nine dollars. How'd you start? Yeah, and after a week, exactly a week, I said, what? How did you start? I tell you, I tell Phyllis, I tell Phyllis, my wife, find me a job, do me a favor, find me a job. I can't stay one second. Life is, in this world is different and here is different. Over there you can go down to the coffee, to the city, you know, you talk to friends, here you don't have this, or you don't know nobody. I said, no, 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 find me a job. She, she find me a job and, and a wine factory, you know, uh, Second Avenue and 45th Street it used to be a, a Manischewitz wine company, you know, who produce wine over there, you know. And, uh, I, I found my first job over there, like I make $90 a week. You know, every every Thursday, they used to bring checks, to, not check, cash to everybody, $90 a week you get. I started like this, okay. What year? Exactly, I tell you exactly. Janu January, like now, look how many years. January 69. 50 years already? <laughs> January 1969. 51 like years. Huh? 51 exactly. years. Exactly. No, 52 years. So I started to work. You know, every week I get $90. And my wife used to work, she made $78 a week. So, like, together. We had around 160, 170 dollars every, every, every week. But we slept in my father-in-law house. He gave us a room there, we stayed there. So we saved money, like, we, every week. We didn't spend too much money, you know? So we saved that money that we told the Phillies, we have to save money, we have to have some money. We started to work, we saved after like a year and a half. You, you will not believe what I tell you. After a year and a half, I had twenty thousand dollars in the bank. Thousand dollars those days used to be a lot of money, you know, to have twenty thousand dollars. A car, any car, Pontiac, Buick, Oldsmobile, you know how much? New, new, three thousand, thirty-five hundred. I pay uh, fifty-eight thousand dollars. Fifty-eight thousand I pay. I gave down fifteen thousand. I had money. I told you. So I gave I gave fifteen thousand dollars down. Unbelievable! I'm, I'm two years in America. As I'm in a house. It was a very nice neighborhood over there. Now it's uh, rich people live there, and the house was kept going up for, for thirty years. The, the houses went up and up and up every year. Every, everybody thinks, oh, maybe one day it's gonna go down, and nothing went down. Every, everyone who, who bought a small house or anything became millionaire today. 
Hey guys, I'm sitting here editing and it's pretty late. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you're new, subscribe. Uh, let me know down below how I could make these videos better for the future. I want to do my best to entertain. And that's it. Till next time.